Hello everyone. Some people say that batteries are problematic because they're not having a long lifespan and batteries are using sometimes conflicting materials. Well, in an ideal world, there should be a battery with, let's say, one million cycles. And there should be a battery which is using absolutely environmentally friendly materials. And there should be a battery which is having, uh, which is useful in heavy machinery with a lot of power output. That would be the ideal battery. You think it doesn't exist? Well, we are looking for such, such solutions. We are on a world tour with the solar butterfly. And guess what? Today in Helsinki, in Finland, we met Andrei Shigaev. He is the CEO of Geyser Batteries and he says exactly this battery is what he is working on. It's possible to build such an ideal battery. Tell us more, please, Andre, tell us more. In, indeed, Louis, the difficulty we have in electrification is actually uh, the batteries and uh, that is about matching supply and demand. We have learned a great deal on how to match uh, energy supply and demand at the scale of hours at the scale of days and the great example is actually uh, this beautiful Tesla behind me which is uh, full of lithium-ion batteries that are just great for working at our scale but the difficulty now in electrification more heavy-duty machinery for switching to renewable grids is uh, to make sure that power is always available we're talking about seconds and minutes of perfect power uh, supply and for that we need special types of batteries and currently we are lacking those we have made a battery like this. So this is a battery that can be recharged millions of times. It's times more powerful than lithium ion batteries and that can operate continuously in that very heavy duty operations. What's particularly great about our battery is uh, how it's made. It's made of uh, water-based electrolytes, which is very different to lithium ion batteries, which are actually burning because of the electrolytes that they're having. So our batteries cannot burn. They use uh, only carbon electrodes so no metals like cobalt nickel etc and uh, that makes it a great proposition so on the one hand that's a power supply for the system be it a power grid or heavy machinery and on the other hand it's uh, the battery that is uh, safe to manufacture safe to use and actually safe to recycle as well